Hey guys, Steel Games here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use two audio playback devices at the same time on Windows. Now let me apologize for my audio in this video. Uh, for whatever reason, I couldn't get my XLR mic to work properly with OBS, so I'm actually using my USB headset mic, which is not nearly as good. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. It's actually fairly simple to do. What you're going to want to do is right-click your speaker icon in your system tray, go to Playback Devices, and make sure that your system's default speakers are set as the default in this menu. For me, it's speakers, Realtek High Definition Audio, because I have Realtek drivers. So you're just going to want to make sure that that's set as the default device and the default communications device. Next up, you're going to go to the Recording tab, and as you can see, I only have four options here. You're going to want to right-click in this empty space and click Show Disabled Devices, and that's going to give us a new option called Stereo Mix. Right-click that, click Enable, then double-click it to bring up the options. Go to the Listen tab, click Listen to this device, and set default playback device to whatever you want to be able to hear your system sound out of as well as your speakers. So I want to be able to listen out of my speakers and my headset. So if I want to turn my speakers off, I'll just hear the audio out of my headset. So I'll select Logitech G930 headset. Then go to the Advanced tab and uncheck Allow Applications to take exclusive control of this device. That'll prevent programs like Skype from messing with your audio levels and making your audio just sound terrible. You can then go to the Levels tab and tune this to exactly where you want it to make it sound good on your system. For me, it's around 50. Uh, that may vary for you because drivers vary differently and so do all the different manufacturers of motherboards and all those different types of things. Then click OK. And now, whenever my system is playing a sound, I'll also be able to hear it out of my headphones as well as my speakers. Click OK. And that's all there is to it, guys. It's a very simple process works very well and makes it really easy to use multiple audio devices without virtual audio cable. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.